for the world in terms of digital. Its application in, in this industry has been remarkable. Yeah, One, truly. YouTube, Amazon, Hulu, um, Netflix, uh, Apple. One after another after another is entering the business. First as a distribution channel, right. right? And now as acquirers of program. Like Netflix wants to get content. Like yeah. now, and uh, an original programming which, right. which Netflix is doing and YouTube I is doing. I heard that from DirecTV yesterday when I talked to yeah. someone here at the convention, that they now will go to the independent people and acquire direct products and put them up on different channels. That's exactly right. So what, what, what really is great about what is happening now is that the people who are creative, mm -hmm. there's a world of opportunity for them. For those people who just did short mm -hmm. films for Not YouTube, right. now they have an opportunity to create long, long form films. They have an opportunity to use their skills and find that a lot more opportunities to become, to make a career. Not just, you know, a 30 second video on YouTube, they can make it actually funny. So that's great. The economic side of it is, this is exciting because now the demand for products is so great that the prices that are being paid to people, the creators of content, are now really pretty strong. And there is an instrument of this competition to get a good product on to that distribution. So when I, when I look at what NAP is, you know, or this, this conference in, in, in Miami, there's one thing that really does ring a lot truer than it has for a long time. Part of the problem between technology and entertainment is in a strange way that they, they were speaking different languages. Right. Technology believed it could stand on its own and create its own destiny. Entertainment was wasn't quite sure what to make of technology. Right. In some respects, thought you know, especially in terms of the areas of piracy and stuff like that, there was a bit like a dangerous area. All right. The greatest thing that's starting to so, happen is right. that they're starting to talk to so each other, so listen to each other, absolutely, right. and they're starting to start to realize that it's in their mutual best interest to get to know each other better. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's what you're starting to see. And, and I, and I think technology that, uh, can create what, and, and, you know, can what get, uh, creators of content can do. And creators of content can create technological delivery systems the way that technology companies do. Right. So they're starting uh, to get together much closer. And I think by doing that, they're going to both fare yeah. out a lot better. Than a lot well, and clearly, yes. broadcasters weren't thinking 20 years ago. I would dare say even a lot of them 15 years ago. I've got fear of how I can scale Other my than, content uh, to go to some cell phone. Uh, Absolutely. And, and yeah. that, today, that's that's a real yeah. broadcast yeah. issue Other because than, there's a big audience out there watching that. stuff on their well, hands. No know, question. And, and you know, it's interesting. That's a very good point because we're really, we're really starting to develop. Mm -hmm. And well, today, the difference is that, if you're, and, I, and I tell this to clients all the time, when you sit down and you get excited about a creative idea story, you have, to, you have to then say to yourself next, okay, where will my story go? Okay, and, and, and what way well, does it to deliver? What are the formats? So, so when you're thinking about developing content, you should be thinking the domestic and international. You should be thinking if it's television, then what about what about you know uh, the internet and mobile? What about mobisodes and webisodes? And how do you how do you shorten those things in order to meet the formats of these new delivery systems? So it's not it, the story will always dominate. The story will always dominate. But the ability to take the story. And then to mold it in yes. ways that are, that are suitable for other mechanisms yeah. of delivery, especially new digital delivery yeah. systems, is really a great opportunity. Because with that comes revenue, with that becomes money. So you're not dependent only on one source. You know, just like you know, with films. Back in the days when films started happening, it was the box office. Well, no, it's not, it's not, it's not the box office anymore. It's the box office and it's pay-per-view and VOD and, DVD. and DVDs yeah. and, and then, you know, almost every other form of delivery. It's soundtrack albums, right? So you start to think this. And don't forget the merchandising. And the merchandising and licensing. And ancillary and all, rights. All of that. Yeah. So if you're looking at these projects and you say to yourself, okay, I got a great idea, then the next question should be, okay, how does my idea travel across these various platforms? Mm -hmm. And what's the way in which I can maximize my return on the creativity and the time of development and production and all those things? So, you know, I just think it's a pretty cool time. I think it's exciting for people. Well, and you highlighted earlier, this is a melting period where technology and entertainment yeah. are learning to talk more and more. And then there's that other tier beyond the technology is the people who 